As Bichette grounds one down to third. High throw, but still. Contact with the first base back. He reaches for it, comes up, but. So now Guerrero, who walked in the first, the only base runner the Blue Jays have so far today. In there at the knees, two and one. And that's high, three balls and a strike. Fastball, but he missed outside, and Guerrero walks for the second time of the game. Who in 38 at bats against lefties as a big leaguer has six home runs. Change up there, 0 and 2. Yeah, I mean, he knows how to pitch. And he, and he gets Schneider for the second time in the game, two down. Prime, his slider was 78, 79 miles an hour, so he still throws it okay, but look at the break on it. I mean, it's a big down and in, they hit a swing over the top of it. So now Santiago Espinal, who lined out to short. And at this point, Buck, it's less about what you have done historically and more about what you. Laddie's running, and Espinal fouls it off. Yeah, why not? And he got a pretty good shot. And with Espinal at the play, and he had to protect the play, and he fouled. That's a foul ball. But not this time. Sale has seven strikeouts through. That bullpen is huge. A well rested bullpen oftentimes ends up. Blue Jays. And right there with a fastball, one and one on Duval. Who. Well, you look at the five guys they have in the starting rotation right now, there's not a kid in the group. Swing and a miss, and it gets Duval. This guy, well. Okay, I'll get him next time. Well, I, I, I'm going to get you got a chance, but Chris Bassett throws you something you weren't expecting. Yeah, I see him great. I'm right on yeah, him. I, I'll get. Oh, and two. It's all about location. You know, Bassett and Chris and Max Scherzer played. Now he's got Yoshida thinking about all. But Bassett's throwing a lot of different pitches to it. And he gets him with a breaking ball. Two down. Climbing. I'll be right back. Dan. I know. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Let me give you my. Look at that breaking ball. 0 and 2. Just get started in time. And that'll get down between Kiermeyer. Her story glides into second with a two. Almost hit him with a curveball, and it's one and one. And he was a two balls and a strike. Play on in second. And back in safely is Story. And ball in. Ball in, says Jordan Baker, and they appeal. And that's high ball four. The first walk surrendered by 0 and 1. to center Kiermaier coming in a few steps first but if they do they'll need to find a way to hit some more homers in a hurry Arden thank you and it's a good point made in the game can you scratch across the wins it as Whitmer ground ball to second but the numbers suggest and like you're gonna have a real pitch game thrown for you that would go as a quiet offensive yes. day <laughs> <laughs> nothing going on Two balls and a strike. Matt Chapman struck out his first time. You know, just to follow up a little bit, kind of, sort of, on what Arden said, I think a lot of people, as a team, hits they have in recent years. Turner in foul territory. Dorian, look at Sales right there, just in case Turner can't make the play. Well, how about the games the Blue Jays have played recently? I always hope to see in October. And Chris Sale, these games, you know. you know, this is the most innings Alejandro Kirk has caught. In. Hit it off the base of the wall. Second, and he is throw. Kirk's doing the best he can to get there, and Verdugo throws a strike to Trevor.
six no score that Kirk single by the way the first hit of the game for the Blue Jays. Pitch count for and in there for a strike three and one. Out of play three and two. Close, but no, that's ball four. It's out of the playoff picture. The runner is going. The pitch is swung on and missed, and Abreu steals second. Third steal from the big leagues. Takes a little peek over his shoulder and gets himself into scoring. He took it outside. Two balls and a strike. Opposite field and it's gone. Oh, he's... Now Justin Turner. Oh. You know, Bass has been very good to runs. And last night had the one swing. All three runs of the game were on one swing, and now they're gonna have to try to find a way to without much runs. Chapman. Makes the play one down this pitch is trying to go away but it's inside and he fights it off and just loops it towards short baseline and Chapman threw it on. So one down here's Alex for Duke. One and one. And it's. Up the middle Bichette to his left. Espinal done. discussed nearly as much this year. Two down. Here's it. Airfield is there, and the side sixth against Chris Sale. He struck out against Sale back in the third. And Kiermaier didn't like that. We don't. We hardly. Nah, you're right, Kevin Kiermaier is. He's down on strikes for the second time in the game. So top of the order, George Springer, who has flied out to right and lined out. 2-0. and Thinking about that at bat. And a 2-0 slider catches the outside edge. 2-1. and one. Been masterful today. And then that's uh, one of his better fastballs at 93. And Springer's still alive. Boy, it must seem like it takes an hour and a half for that ball to get the right handed hitters. And he strikes out another one. Nine on the afternoon. He's in this season, the most he's had 11 in a game, and that was against the. Bo Bichette has struck out and grounded out. Just for context on the Blue Jays' offensive numbers, they are 17, not a juggernaut, but certainly above average. Yeah, we thought they would score more runs than they have. And a swing and a miss by Bichette. Sale just struck out the side.